Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today's a special one, obviously, it's new bike day. Um, but if you'll just like pardon me for a minute, like I feel a little bit awkward doing this type of video because I know that I'm getting a new bike and like you're not. So I, it just feels really like YouTuber-ish that I'm doing this, but uh, I'm just very excited and uh, given the build up to this then I obviously need to give this bike its own video and proper introduction for this year um, but to celebrate this new partnership which I'll explain in a minute we've done a new rerun of these t-shirts also the Ed Mode ones as well um, I'll put a link down below in the description they sold out within days last year so if you want to pick one up um, I'll be incredibly grateful so yeah a little bit about what I'm doing here today I'm actually at Verez Velo the facility here uh, near Norwich on the other side of the UK um, they have an, a massive experience centre here now so Verez Velo is the new brand name for well what is now the exclusive sort of place to pick up uh, a factor bike in the UK Ooh. So the whole experience centre is built around obviously the fact that bikes, the black ink components, um, the, the the new bike fit area with the ID Match and Seller Italia, and also the lab testing, which is very interesting to me, which will come in due course. Um, so the whole the whole idea is to give myself, you, anybody who wants to come here an experience, you know, when buying a new bike or even just getting a bike fit. So the name Verez Velo comes from the very first model that Factor made. The production model was called Viz Verez and to kind of throw you back to that whole journey and how it all started inside the the studio is little nods to that journey and that history with timelines on the wall uh, cycling memorabilia tv area you sit down have a coffee have a chat with the guys there the mechanics it's all sort of very open plan and and very it's very friendly so yeah i am absolutely honored to be part of this new family of which it really does feel like it and the Verez Velo brand is what I'll be carrying the message of throughout 2020. So I actually reached out to the guys here a fair way back um, back at the start of the year and we got talking about you know my plans for this year and you know like bike plans and like what actual goals I wanted to try and commit to and they're really excited to like try and be a part of that uh, and your support has just been amazing throughout you literally helped me make my dreams become a reality like you allow me to pursue this for a living Right, I'm gonna do my best now to run you through this specification of my new bike with this wonderful backdrop. Um, it is mega windy, so hopefully you can hear me. Like, all of this riding up to a mountain was for nothing. The Factor O2 VAM frame set. 677 grams for the frame. It's pretty incredible and kind of suits me down to the ground being a 60 kilogram lightweight and someone who loves going up hills, this is gonna be hopefully perfect for me. Um, it's size 54, 
chrome decals as you can see um, the finishing kit is black ink so black ink component that's the uh, integrated handlebar and stem uh, combo oh look out look how the colors pop in the the light now the sun's coming out that's amazing great timing thank you we have 120 millimeter stem 40 bars um, we have obviously black ink seat post black ink carbon bottle cages uh, black ink 20 wheels uh, they are clean shirt they're obviously disc um, I'm gonna talk more about like my plans for this year and really like why I'm riding disc as opposed to rim I know obviously the industry is going that way uh, I'm not gonna like shove it down your throat like I'm not gonna say oh you need disc over rim because personally I like them both some of the goals I have this year such as you know racing in the Alps racing in the Hort route um, Mallorca 312 uh, and potentially an Everestin as well they weigh in at uh, 1240 grams I think uh, for the pair they also at the minute run in Continental Grand Prix 5000s uh, obviously clincher 25 millimeter uh, with tubolito tubes <laughs> but uh, needless to say I've never ridden those tubes or tire combination before so I'm interested to know how they feel up top I have a, a Sella Italia Super flow boost. I had to look at the double check uh, with carbon fiber rails. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the out front black ink, um, well, Wahoo mount in this case, with the little fixing underneath for GoPro or my exposure front light, which I tend to ride with um, virtually all the time. Uh, we have the new, the brand new Shimano Durace. Electronic at 12 speed. Um, I mean, this is a first for me. I've never ridden, I've never ridden electronic group set before in my life. Um, I've never been, uh, you know, lucky enough in the in the hierarchy of a team situation to ride electronic. Bar tip is factors bar tip. Uh, super grippy. Uh, I like uh, a thin feeling bar tip uh, If I'm being honest, uh, we finish off this build with a set of Shimano Altegra pedals However, I've got some brand new Durace uh, lightweight pedals coming very soon. I've ordered them uh, So I'm looking forward to fitting them to this build. I've got a 4i left-sided power meter coming as well Oh, the chain rings. Uh, it's a 5236 Cassette we have I think an 1130 I might be wrong Oh and one last thing free hub sound check although I don't know how much you're gonna be able to hear of it here By the way if you're wondering about the weight without pedals and as you see it here, well, without the Wahoo, obviously, without pedals, without the Wahoo, comes in at 6.2 kilograms. I think that's it. Um, yeah, if there's any more details or things that I've missed or you want to know, obviously, uh, leave it down below in the comment section. Uh, I'm, like, first impressions, I'm completely blown away. So, from me and a wonderful view over here in South Wales, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in another video very, very soon.